Hello learners, I welcome you to this session. In this session we will discuss about tourism marketing. This topic is included in BCom 5th semester in the course Marketing of Services under Management Specialization. The earlier videos about this particular course have included the concept of service and the concept of service marketing, the importance of marketing the services and the characteristics of the services. We also differentiated the goods and services on certain basic parameters. We have also discussed in earlier videos the consumer expectation, consumer perception about services, consumer behavior in services as well as the market segmentation in service marketing. In this particular video, we will cover certain topics like tourism, tourist, hospitality, then classification of tourism, marketing mix for tourism. So this video after watching it, you will be able to discuss the concept of tourism, meaning of the tourist, dimensions of tourism, meaning of hospitality, the scope of tourism, classification of tourism, then how we can segment the market for tourism, what are the factors that influence the tourist and the marketing mix for tourism services. So let us begin. When we use the particular term tourism, it generally comes to our mind that we are visiting certain place. If you have visited definitely certain places like Kajiranga National Park, Shillong, Kerala, Goa, etc. So these are tourist places specifically designed for the tourist. So a number of historical monuments are there, Rangar, Taj Mahal, Kutub Binar, where you have visited or someone may planning to visit it. So when you visit these particular places, you spend time there. You spend time in the midst of nature with the friends and relatives. From the historical monuments, we learn a lot. So by visiting a particular place, as it is termed as tourism, we learn a lot. So when you visit a particular place, we perform different activities, we spend money, we go to different places. So these are all termed as tourism related activities. So what is basically tourism? So tourism means when a particular person, an individual, move outside from the usual place of stay. So from the comfort zone, from your house, you are moving to a place for a particular purpose. Purpose is to visit the place as a tourist. So objective of such visits are generally to spend time, to relax, to recreation, to spend time with your friends and family. There may be some other objectives also, like you may have some business trips. You are going to a particular place to attend your conference, meetings, etc. So in a tourism, an individual visit a place outside his usual stay, outside his usual place. In this regard, let us have a look on the definition given by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. The definition says that tourism is a social, cultural and economic phenomenon which entails the movement of people to countries or places outside their usual environment for personal or business or professional purposes. So these people are called visitors which may be either tourist or excursionist, residents or non-residents, and tourism has to do with the, their activities, some of which imply tourism expenditure. So this particular definition is very broad that covers almost all the aspects of tourism. Now let us move to the definition of tourist given by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. It says that a tourist can be domestic means the residence of a 
given country traveling within the country. So if you are staying in Guwahati, you are visiting Shillong, so you are a domestic tourist. Inbound. Inbound tourists are those which are the non-residents traveling in a given country. Suppose the other person living in United States of America visiting India. So this is the inbound tourism or the person is inbound tourist, foreign tourist. Then the outbound tourist, the residents of one country traveling to another country. So an Indian person visiting United States of America or any foreign country is the outbound tourist. Now tourism has different dimensions. The definition has already covered these dimensions. These dimensions are specifically cultural, social, economic. So when people move from one place to another, the objective may be different, maybe business, maybe personal purpose. But whenever a tourist visits the tourist destination, he comes in contact with the other person residing in that particular destination. The tourist come to know about the historical importance of that particular place. The tourist spend money in all the tourism related activities. In the entire process, when we communicate with the people living in and around a particular place, we come to know about more about the place, its historical importance. So a cultural exchange process takes place and a we come to know about the social norms, we come to know about the society of that particular place. So culture and tourism is related to culture, tourism is also related to society. So this exchange process gives a greater dimension to tourism industry. At the same time, tourism has some economic dimension. When tourists spend money, that money helps the local people to earn their livelihood. And as a whole, the tourism industry has great influence in the earnings of a nation. Now let us move to another important term connected with tourism, that is hospitality. So when a particular tourist visits a place, that person, that individual need to take rest, need to have some food. So hospitality is concerned with making the tourist feel welcome and relax. So hospitality is a combination of accommodation and food and beverage segments. So the tourist will stay in a hotel, will take food. So this as a whole known as the hospitality segment of tourism. Now it is appropriate to discuss the scope of tourism. When we discuss about tourism, its scope is very wide. It covers the different segments. So one we know is the hospitality. So it is the place to stay. Then food, restaurant or hotels. Then we move from one place to another. When we visit a particular place, a tourist place, then we move from one place to another. So we need some transportation. Transportation is another important segment in the tourism industry. Then services of tour operators, tourist guides. So all these are included under the tourism and that is why the scope of tourism is very wide covering the different segments of the economy. So the economic condition of people, especially living in a tourist area, depends on the tourist, the number of footfalls that takes place in a particular period of time helps them in earning their livelihood. So it results in the improvement of economic conditions of these people and as a whole it improves the economic conditions of a nation which is specifically depend on tourism services. So in tourism all other sectors that we have discussed it may be hospitality, may be transportation or any other segment that is connected with tourism it depends on the tourist. The money spent by the tourist helps them in earning their livelihood. Those people are engaged in different activities which are necessary when the tourism activity takes place, when the tourist 
visit a particular place. Now, we can classify tourism. We can classify it in different areas like recreational tourism. It means that tourists spend their leisure time by engaging in outdoor activities. For example, it may be a golf playing. So this is recreation. Then there is adventure tourism. So tourists involved in physical activity. Some of these physical activity may be hard like river rafting, rock climbing. And there may be some soft physical activities like wildlife viewing. So this is come under adventure tourism. Then we have cultural tourism. So tourists visit a particular place to learn, to discover and experience the tangible and intangible cultural products. If you visit Majuli, you will experience the culture. Then we have health tourism. People visit a particular place to get some medical treatment. So again we can classify tourism as sport tourism or as religious tourism. Now this discussion is important, the classification of tourism is important when we will discuss the market segmentation for tourism. So let us have a look. Tourism industry is very vast that you know. We have to segment the tourism, we have to segment the market for the tourist. But this is very critical because the demand side consisting of the tourist is very complex. The tourists are influenced by a variety of factors. So when you segment the market for tourism industry, we have to consider the factors that influence the tourist when he or she decides to visit a particular place as a tourist. So lifestyle. Lifestyle influence the tourist what place to visit, how to go there, the lifestyle of the pe people will affect these uh, areas. Then income, the money that a particular person is able to spend on tourism related activities. Availability of leisure time, some may have ability to spend 7 days in a particular spot, whereas some people will spend only just 2 days. So there are different factors which influence the tourist. Again, age. Age is another important factor that helps in market segmentation and this is the factor that influence the tourist. For example, a person in the age group of 20 to 25 will love to visit some places which are adventurous. Adventure tourism will be the most preferred by a person in the age group of 20 to 25 or 25 to 30. But a person in the age group of 60 may not prefer the adventure tourism. So when the age changes, the same person may have different needs for tourism. Stages in life cycle. So a, a college going person may like to visit with a group, with a group of friends. So, but the same person after marriage will prefer to visit not in a group but with the family. So when the stage in the life cycle changes, the need for tourism will change. Travel preference, how a person wants to travel by car, by other means of transportation, etc. Similarly, health and safety is there as well as the past experience. If the experience of a tourist is not good by visiting a particular tourist place, then that tourist will not take a decision to visit that place again. So what is the strategy, marketing strategy for tourism? It is the market segmentation. You know about market segmentation. Market segmentation means dividing the market on the basis of certain common characteristics of the consumers. So in case of tourism, we have to classify the market based on certain common characteristics of tourists. So when we segment the market for tourism, it will help us in focusing the, on the requirements of the tourist, what exactly the tourist demand, depending on his age, depending on the income, depending on the 
time that he or she can spend in tourism related activities etc so on that basis we can design the tourism package and similarly you can design the promotional strategy how we will inform the tourists about the different tour packages about the different facilities that are available in a particular tourist spot at the same time it is important to understand the behavioral profile of the tourist so behavioral profile of tourist is mostly influenced by the race religion nationality because you have to consider the foreign tourist also what the demand what are the requirements of the foreign tourist based on all these factors we can design the tourism packages so market segmentation understanding the tourist profile behavioral profile will help us in designing the tourism packages so when we will discuss about tourism packages it is very much essential to discuss the marketing mix for tourism services marketing mix as you know it is the marketing policy adopted by the marketers in the market in terms of certain p's product price place promotion people physical evidence etc so this is the combination of these elements these p's and collectively we term it as marketing mix so marketing mix helps us to attract the customers it helps us in offering the differentiated product we can differentiate our tourism packages from our competitors and it helps us in winning the market competition now if we see the marketing mix for tourism the first comes the product mix it means the tourist destination the tourist spot where the tourist will visit now when we will design this product mix for tourism we have to consider the other segments that are closely connected with the tourist spot like accommodation what are the hotel facilities available in a particular spot what type of food is available what type of food is pre generally preferred by the tourist there may be difference between foreign tourist and the national tourist then the mode of transportation available to visiting that particular place to move here and there within the particular place and the tour operators have to design this particular product mix by taking into account their experience their connection with the tourist etc so it is a complex mix when we thought about the tourism spot we have to market it it is a complex mix because of the involvement of different segments from hotel to transportation so product mix depends on the type of tourism also for religious tourism the product mix will be different for adventure tourism the product mix will be different so all these factors have to be considered when we will design the product mix for tourism services if you can blend all these sectors together the tourism package will be attractive the spot will be attractive for the tourist now let us move to another p that is price the price mix means the amount that the tourists are going to pay for the tourist package so it will include all expenses related to the hotel related to food related to the transportation etc when we'll design the price mix for tourism we have to keep in mind the nature of tourism industry tourism is generally a seasonal activity in a particular season you will see that there are lots of tourists but in the off season there will be no tourist so we have to design the price mix in such a way that we can cover the expenses and at the same time it should match the tourist ability to spend now the another p is place mix place mix refers to the distribution of tourism services now the channel of distribution for tourism services is mainly composed of the transporters tour operators etc 
So they are very significant when we will design the marketing mix for tourism. So these transporters, tour operators facilitate the tourist, facilitate the tourist to experience the particular spot, to know about the spot. So these factors or uh, these areas need a good consideration when we will design the marketing mix for tourism. Promotion mix. Promotion mix, we have to inform the tourist about the particular place. So information network should be very strong. How we can give the information to the tourist, how we will attract the tourist. So based on our information, tourist will select a destination. And specifically, in case of tourism, it is the word of mouth promotion that helps in attracting the tourist, in making the tourist aware about a particular tourist spot. Somewhere you will also notice some incentives are given by the hotels, etc., for conferences, for meetings, so that tourists come to that place and they have a uh, good time there. In tourism services, the important mix is people mix, people who serve the tourist, deliver the tourism services. Again, it is the tour operators the tourist guides, the hotel staff, which are related to the tourism industry. So these people need to be trained, need to be very professional so that they can provide all class services to the tourist. Tourists must experience, must feel relaxation by visiting a particular tourist spot. So tourism as a service requires the efficient blending of all the four P's and that by blending the four P's we can offer a good tourist a good package for the tourist and this is important because tourism service contribute in terms of economy in terms of culture and in terms of society the social exchange process tourism helps in employment generation and it ensures the sustainable livelihood of the local community. So therefore, we are coming to the end for this particular session and we have discussed the concept of tourism and the tourist. We have also discussed the different dimensions in tourism service, that is the cultural, social and economic dimension. We have discussed the scope of tourism which covers different segments hospitality, transportation, tour operators, tourist guides, etc. Then we classify the tourism in terms of recreational tourism, religious tourism, sport tourism, etc. Then we have discussed about the market segmentation for tourism and the factors that influence the tourist which involve age, income, lifestyle, etc. Lastly, we have discussed the marketing mix for tourism, composing of the different P's, product, price, place, promotion, people, etc. So, this is the end of this video. We will meet some in other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.